Hi, this is Anna Jarrett. I'm here to present GSNI's eBuddy online training. Brand new for this year, the eBuddy Troop app. Now volunteers can place initial orders from their mobile devices as our powerful eBuddy software goes mobile. On this convenient app, there is a video training and eBuddy help built right in. Let's discuss where you will add girl orders, choose booth sites, and so much more. eBuddy is the all-in-one place to run your cookie program. Your email address is used to gain access to eBuddy. The login screen allows you to update your information, including changing your email address, password, security questions, and personal information. We will do weekly uploads into eBuddy of troops, registered Girl Scouts, and adult leaders and or cookie chairs. A leader and or cookie chair must be a registered Girl Scout member with a current criminal background check completed in order for the troop to be added into eBuddy. After the initial login, if you forget your password, you can click on the fourth bullet link to reset your password via two options. eBuddy will be open December 6th. 2017. This year's default password is capital TOFF8260 and must be used the first time you log in for this year. This is for everyone, even if you have used the system before. Once you use this password, you will be directed to a new screen where you will be asked three security questions and to add your name and contact information and finally, to create your own password. The eBuddy Help Center is a great tool to help you navigate and answer any eBuddy questions you may have. We will post GSNI resources on the Help Center tab, as well as at www.girlscoutsni.org slash cookie resources. To access the Microburst training videos, click on the Help Center tab, then click on Managing Your Sale, then click on Troops, and the Microburst training videos will be there. There are several training videos, and the topics include Troop Initial Order Tab, Troop Girl Order Tab. These are quick one to two minute YouTube videos available at your fingertips. We recommend you go here and check out these short videos when you have questions about entering girl orders and other eBuddy functionality. Along with the Help Center, we will have an eBuddy manual created specifically for GSNI. This manual will be emailed out to all troops in December to help you navigate the system. On your Settings tab in eBuddy, you can enter or verify your banking information. We will be uploading the previous year's banking information on January 12th. Please go in after this date and verify it is correct. If you are a new troop, you will have to enter your troop's banking information. Click on the Edit button and enter the bank name, account number, and routing number for your troop's bank account no later than January 29th. Click the Update button at the bottom once all edits have been made. Also on this tab, you can add your troop goal and opt out of rewards only if you have an older girl troop. Older girl troops are defined as cadets, seniors, and ambassadors, and page 17 of the Troop Cookie Manual provides more information to help troops make this important decision. On your Girls tab, you will see all the girls registered in your troop. If there are any girls missing from this tab, please double check with the parent to be sure she is registered. Once the parent verifies her registration, you may contact us at 1-844-476-4463 to find out why she is not listed in eBuddy under your troop. We do weekly uploads into eBuddy. These will be completed by Tuesday evenings. The girl name will be added along with her ID and grade level. You can add her sales goal on this tab and select her t-shirt size in preparation for earning the t-shirt reward. If a girl is transferred out of your troop, her name will remain on this tab, 
but we will now be able to mark the girl inactive on the girls tab so she will not show on your troops girl orders tab. The initial order tab is where you enter girls initial orders by the deadline of Monday, January 29th at 11.59 p.m. These orders should include the girls traditional order card orders and any girl delivery digital cookie orders. Be sure to double check the totals listed on each girl's order card for accuracy. To enter, click on the girl's name and on the bottom of the screen, her name and boxes will appear. In these boxes, you will enter the total quantities needed for each cookie variety. After you have entered her totals, be sure to click OK on the right side and then hit save at the top. You may make as many edits as you need but do not click on the orange submit button until you are completely done entering and editing each girl's orders. If your service unit uses the scheduling feature in eBuddy, you will use the delivery tab to schedule a time to pick up your troops initial order. This tab will be open on Saturday, February 3rd at 8 a.m. and will be closed by Tuesday, February 6th at 11.59 p.m. The first prompt will be, who is picking up your cookies? You can select either someone from my troop or some other troop and then add their troop number. The second prompt will be, will you be picking up for more than one troop? If yes is checked, then you will need to add that additional troop number. Your service unit's delivery station date and time will be automatically added to this tab. All you need to do is select your preferred time window. Typically, the time windows are between 5 and 15 minutes, depending on what parameters your service unit has set. Based on the size of your order, eBuddy will determine if your troop needs additional time slots. Once you are done selecting a time, click Submit My Info. On the Girl Orders tab, you can allocate any extra cookies sold after initial order by any of the girls in your troop. Simply click on the girl's name you want to edit. A new screen will appear and you can add more cookies to her sales total. All cookies sold by each girl can count towards her final reward. Digital cookie orders will be automatically loaded for any online sales under the appropriate girl as well. Cookie quantities and varieties must still be added for any digital girl delivery orders. Please refer to the Troop Cookie Manual or the Digital Cookie Online Training for more information. If a girl sells cookies at a booth site, her sales can be added to the Girl Orders tab. There is also an easy to use function in eBuddy called Record Booth Sale. This helps with booth sale management. This function is also available as an app, so the leader has a choice. This function allows the leader to easily manage the cookies sold at booths by evenly distributing the total quantity sold to all girls who attended that booth sale location. This tab also allows you to add money collected from parents to help keep accurate accounting of all monies received. Once money is added into the paid column, it will then be subtracted and an accurate amount will show under the balance due column. After all edits are made, be sure to click save. On the transactions tab, you can place orders for more cookies to be picked up at a GSNI Resource Center cupboard or volunteer cupboard. The cupboard days and times are displayed to easily see when a cupboard is open. Start by clicking Add a Transaction, and a new screen will appear where you can enter the quantity of each variety of cookie you need to order. You will select your preferred cupboard location, date, and time for pickup. Please be aware of the cupboard's hours. Once done editing and entering all information, click Save and Print or OK to save your order. Cookies need to be picked up from the cupboards in quantities of 12 boxes. These ca 
can be mixed. Cookies need to be picked up from the cupboards in case quantities of 12 boxes. However, the cases can be mixed varieties of cookies, including both the Toffee Tastic and S'mores cookie. Once the cupboard manager has approved your order, it will become unpended and an email will be sent to you letting you know you are set to pick up your cookie order on the selected date and time. The rewards tab will be used twice by the troop leader or cookie chair. First, it will be used to submit the troop's initial rewards by Monday, January 29th at 11.59 p.m. The second time it will be used will be to submit final rewards by Wednesday, March 21st at 11.59 p.m. eBuddy will automatically calculate what rewards each girl has earned. You will only need to make edits if there is a reward choice or t-shirt size to add. If t-shirt sizes are entered on the girls tab, then these selections will automatically populate into your final rewards tab. Reminder, even older girl troops that opt out of rewards need to submit their initial and final rewards. This is because they still earn patches and level bars. Gift of carrying patches and booth sale patches must be added manually for the girls that earn them. Volunteer patches may also be ordered manually to recognize a leader, cookie chair, or another adult volunteer in the troop that has contributed to the cookie program. A maximum of five volunteer patches may be ordered per troop. You have three choices, view, fill out, or girl report. You may edit all the girls in your troop's rewards at one time by going to the fill out button and clicking edit all. This function can only be done once. Once you have finished and all edits are done, you will click submit reward order. Special family reward. A sister's patch is being offered for families with two Girl Scouts or more selling a total of 300 boxes of cookies. Each girl must have a minimum of 135 boxes listed in eBuddy. Parents or leaders must contact the product program team with the sisters' names and the troop numbers no later than March 28th to earn this patch. This patch is not offered through eBuddy. On the Booth Sites tab, you will find council sites that have been secured by GSNI staff, or you can add your own My Sales sites. In this example, the drop-down is Council Sales Sites. You can then click on the plus sign next to the city to see the booth sites available in that community. Then click on the retail location you want to reserve. Available days and time slots will appear. If the date is green, that means there are time slots left to choose. If the date is blue, then all times are taken. Once you find the date and time you prefer, the window on the right will appear. You can then click in the open time slot to add your troop number, then click submit. In this example, I chose Algonquin as my city and the Goodwill store for a Friday from 4 to 7 p.m. If you select My Sales in the drop-down, you will then need to click Add a Location. The new screen is where you will enter the information about your booth site. Name of the business, address, contact information of the person you received approval from, and the date and time you will be at this location. Full address is required to receive approval for the site from GSNI. Once done entering all information, you will click Add. My sales requests are approved by GSNI on a first-come, first-served basis. A site may be denied if it is deemed inappropriate for girls, if it is already reserved by another troop, if the complete address is not provided, if it is an established council sales site, or if there is a safety concern. Please note, these sites must be prearranged and approved with the business owner or manager prior to entering them into eBuddy. 
The Deposits tab will show details of all payments your troop has made in the store for the Cookie Craver contest and for any digital order card payments. There is nothing you can do on this tab. It is only to use as a reference. You cannot make any edits. On the Reports tab, there are many useful reports. Most of them can be viewed as an Excel document or as a PDF. There is a covered list with addresses and a delivery station report with the address of your assigned service unit delivery location. The bottom section contains all digital cookie reports. The DOC orders by girl is another way to view and filter by girl to see which girls have digital cookie girl delivery orders and what variety and quantities of cookies are needed. There is a new report specifically for digital cookie girl delivery orders titled Girl Delivery Varieties Only by Girl. The Troop Sales Report is another very useful report to reference. It details all the cookies sold, including digital cookie sales and gift of caring donations received by your girls. The CGOC cookies are virtual, so your troop does not receive them, but you are still financially responsible for them. This report also shows your per girl selling average, so you can easily keep track of how close you are to the next proceed tier. Thank you for attending this informational training. Troop cookie chairs or troop leaders are required to view the 2018 mandatory cookie online training before your troop is able to participate in the cookie program. This online training is now available on our, the GSNI website.